Hello and welcome to RA Place Factoria C Block. This is episode 321. And we just made some stuff that allows us to smelt gold. And we just want to make sure that we actually have gold ore uh, in the network that we can smelt. And the way we're going to start with this is just diverge the existing uh, gold stream because it's gonna it's currently being smelted in a less efficient way so it it makes a ton of sense just to say hey let's uh, make sure that we can smell it in the better way and if if uh, we are reliant on some some side products for that um, but as long as that's not an issue then yeah I don't really see a reason not to just trust that basically let's see these guys seem fine. Uh, this is all good and then we have the gold up here somewhere always a little bit further than you expect but that's fine so gold or oh yeah it's on this in, on this thing um let's see yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up we're gonna upgrade you to productivity once. We're gonna set up a small redirection device up here with a fast inserter and a passive provider. We're gonna limit you. 120 seems okay, but it could be a little bit problematic. And I don't know. Um, we'll get you going. Uh, Okay, I guess they spawned in there. That's kind of uh, annoying. I I was kind of wondering if if just random stuff was spawning in, but I guess like either they spawned in or they grew bigger. Um. Okay, this works initially. Uh, there we go. Uh, I think that should get all of them. Maybe that one with splashback. Yeah, it actually, no, it, it, it is in range. Awesome. Okay. So the only thing is that these guys need to be repaired, but they are in. They're almost all in range, so that should happen. Uh, let's get another one up here. And clear these out. Yeah, so these are all in range, so we should have robots coming up to repair that. And the gold looking okay. They're all being picked up, so I think we do want to make sure that we have enough uh, going on here. So let's just copy this part like that and upgrade the poles. And then do a passive provider here and then you are good but we want to copy this and make this limit a little bit bigger just to make sure that this guy gets priority if we need uh, if we need more yeah. this is gonna be uh, quite a nice resource sink but uh, yeah. and then the other thing we want to do is make sure that uh, the gold ingots that we make get used somewhere. That's kind of critical. This is actually backlogged. This is backlogged. Wow. Okay, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah, I guess that can happen. Awesome. Yeah. So the nice thing about having like the belt still here is that it now acts as a buffer, which is kind of risky because it might like obscure like resource limitations that we have but on the other hand like if you pay attention to it this looks very suspicious so we should probably be looking at uh, tin uh, wire coil next um let's see so we want to just squeeze in the gold smelting area and see what's what let's see that's up here so basically what we I think can do is just um, uh, put in 
you guys, right? And just... Oh yeah, so we... After we have the ingots, you need to do another step to get it to... No, okay, so we don't want it in here because this step is necessary for this guy. We want to have it up here. So this one is important and this one is just going to run. And at some point it will stop because we're not getting uh, any gold or out here. So the only thing I want to do is just empty this out just to make sure that uh, we're gonna smell it more efficiently and then we'll get this in here like that and yeah let's do it like this be fine a little bit wasteful but oh well like having having a solid buffer here makes sense right and we want input priority uh, on the right. So we want to use the ones that we smelt from the network if we have them. And so for as far for these, like we're gonna just use this stuff as far as we can. Yeah. So now this is backed up, and we're just stealing this from the from the belt um, until we no longer can. Yeah. Seems good. Um, yeah, so we're we're getting some some from the network, not too much actually. So j let's just check if that's. Let's see, we oh, we can't do that. Okay, this is all right. These guys are not really. Let me just check what's going on there. There seems to be some funny business going on. Maybe I missed something. Or maybe we're out of... Oh, I should actually be using uh, charcoal pellets for fuel, not carbon. That's kind of an, an old habit. Um, but yeah, okay, let's figure it out. So I walk past it. It should be up here then? Yeah, probably. Let's see. Okay, so you guys are all good, but you guys are missing that. But that's exactly what you guys are for. Oh, I forgot an, uh, an output. Okay, so I want two of these guys and an active provider chest. And then do it over here, I guess. You're gonna filter uh, sodium hydroxide. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Active provider, there we go. Okay, so that should be all good. Um, I should, I guess, cancel you guys and use charcoal pellets instead. Okay, yeah, I mean, we don't mind them using the carbon as far as we've got it, but uh, this is okay. Um, so yeah, this is all good, and uh, this is actually backlogged quite nicely, so I just want to make sure that... Did I empty out the gold plane yet, or is that still going? Yeah, that is still going, it's quite a long one. That's interesting, let's see, or are we still producing up there? Let's see, oh yeah, we actually are, because... Obviously, okay, that's kind of annoying. Well, I mean, if we look at what's going on, then it should backlog from both ways, right? So on the one hand, we should have enough uh, gold ingots to feed uh, the demand. Yeah, so at this point, like the gold ingots are in okay shape to, to make this happen. So we can just uh, stop doing this and I mean we'll, we'll still push a little bit of gold into this but yeah, this should just be like, whatever we can get we'll, we'll put in. It looks looks okay like we could use another inserter if we really want to make it a full belt but 
going to be fine. And you guys you know, could actually use a little bit more if we have it. It looks like we do. Eh, not really. Um, do we want to use more inserters to make sure this is all filled up? And this process... Yeah, we... We're kind of okay with it, like eating a little bit of gold, like it, it can't be helped. It's really like about catching up, I think. Yeah, so we are catching up, so that's good. We have plenty of, of gold plates in the network now. So that's where we want it to be. Okay, so then if we look at the black chips, is there anything holding this back or is it just going full Monty? Yeah, looks like this is actually going fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess the time has come to um, scale that up a little bit. Because if we look at our speed modules somewhere. And not speed modules, rocket control units. And there are actually two working right now, which is uh, one more than we used to have. Yeah, so let's uh, look into that, copying that. If we do it properly, we can we can really start scaling that up. That should be nice. Um, Space Assembly research is actually going quite fast as well. Like we can we can. S I I like the prioritization we have going on now. So basically. What we're doing is, yeah, this is okay, yeah. We can't do this because of fluid, so, but this is fine, right? Yeah. Uh, so let's connect that up if we can. So this, we can't connect this up. That's kind of awkward. Um, can we do something about that? It's so OP and still like, can't manage to get the belts or the, the pipe working. What we can do is we can do this, like this, and then run the the nitric acid up here. Um, yeah, okay, it's not empty. I feared that for a second. There we go. Yeah, so this is okay. We don't need this stuff, but we do need... Let's see, so we have, yeah, we used to have a power pole over there, but instead you are picking up here. And then we do need an additional power pole to get some, some coverage up here. I think this should be okay now. Let, let just, let's just wait and check if everything is, uh, is set up properly, because that this is kind of key. Mm. If this went all right, we can actually copy and paste it with the exception of this RoboPort being a little bit annoying, but we can move that up. Mm. No, we do want to make sure these guys get their modules. Mm. Maybe we want to scale up module production a little bit as well. Yeah, but these guys, yeah, um, I mean, are a little low on green at the moment. Mm. So that's holding us back. Um, these are, I guess, a little bit low as well, but not... Yeah, it's it's really a throughput, or not a throughput issue, issue but a latency issue. Um, CPUs, we might not have enough. That seems reasonable to assume. Where are those requested? Oh, they're, they're actually made here. Uh, the Okay, so this is not connected up. That makes sense. Let's see. Okay, so that should help with these guys. Let's see if that covers everything. Mm. Yeah, we do have a couple of greens in the machine. Yeah, we have enough greens in the machine now, so let's check if we're getting our first outputs I'm not even sure I, this guy 
could be doing the output. Yeah, so it, it triggered, so that looks good. Mm. I didn't actually see it get picked up, but the machine finished, so I'm gonna assume that it actually was done. Um, let's see, how are we looking at power? Not too shabby, actually. Uh, okay, we are actually... No, the, 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 the panels are balancing out, right? So, but... Yeah, I guess the issue was that I, I did something wonky with the, the old power and due to that I overscaled power a little bit. But then again, we're not really that far from, from having a problem. So yeah, I think we do want to maybe scale it up a little bit. Um, if we look at greens, what's the problem for you guys? It's copper coils and I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of copper smelting up here the issue is copper ore if we look at copper over here the issue is stereotypes yep in all or no quotonium that is um, yeah in all so this this yeah we can we can just scale that up right so let's do that then uh, scale up plutonium a little bit and what else was there no, I think that was it right uh, scale up copper gets greens no I think that's where we want it to be like if we look at the research, like we're going to be doing some of the space research, we're going to mainly follow this. This is going to be our uh, help. Okay, so if we look at this stuff, yeah, we're, we're real low on plutonium. Part of that is that the request is actually kind of low. Right? Uh, maybe maybe that's not the issue it's just yeah everything that's put in is just immediately put out there so that's all fine um, I guess we just want to scale this up then like the the stereotype is supplied from the other ones as well so in that sense I yeah I see why it could be this could be happening right there we go uh, this is in logistics range, it's all in build range. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, mineral sludge, a little bit on the wonky side, like we might need to uh, to scale that up it's kind of soon. Um, yeah, these guys are, are just like still most of the time robots. We're doing okay. We could scale. Uh, uh, could we upgrade those? We actually do have the blue chips for them, right? That that was the issue, and that's that's going all right. So, yeah, maybe we should. Let's see if we look at meanwhile the rocket control units. How's that looking? Yeah, okay, they're actually all working. Wow. Yeah, so you guys, yeah, I mean, it's still bottlenecked by rocket control units, but it's it's actually moving up in the world, so we have a reasonable paced rocket launcher. Well, you know what I mean, not an actual rocket launcher, but close enough. Yeah, so I guess we wanna... Yeah, these guys are gonna make more plutonium, right? Yeah. I mean, we could introduce productivity modules here. It feels kind of awkward. Um, yeah, we're gonna up this this uh, to 200 because even though it's a really short distance, like it looks like yeah, there was actually an issue there. Um, yeah, 
So now it's all of it's getting delivered. All of it's going out here. And yeah. Yeah, if we look at the next level bots, maybe we should go for them. So raw, I mean they need the new batteries as well, which is kind of awkward. But I mean, why not? It's it's so enticing. Yeah. I don't know. I think we do we do really want them. Um let's see. Yeah, other than that, like these these guys all look fine, right? Yeah, it's just we're really waiting for the for the crotonium and we just don't have enough. These guys are and they're not pressing full time, but it's pretty close, so I'm just gonna put down a secondary one. Um uh, yeah, we don't need to respect that, so I think we can just put it down. I guess we can just put it down here, that's fine. Um, it's a little bit... Yeah, it, it's ugly as hell, but... I mean, if we keep doing that, we can actually fit, like, twice the machines in the same space, which makes a ton of sense, right? Yeah. That's what we should be doing anyway, so... We can fit in some robot ports as well, right? That's that's we're gonna need them, but yeah, good stuff. Let's see, the science stuff is still going strong. Um, yeah, this is actually all backed up. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, so the only thing that's going on is that probably at some point we wanna. The purple is not backed up. Is that? Is the stuff being... Re yeah, the stuff has been repaired, but... Um, I guess it could be that... Oh, we're low on methane gas, and that's an issue. It looks like. Yeah. Okay, well, that's something we should be able to work out, because we have... The synthesis gas, but what's going on here then? Ethane, butane. Okay, so we have ethane, but we're not using it, so we should be venting it instead. Okay, let's make that happen because we can't uh, go without methane. Let's see. Yeah, so we have ethane over here, yeah, and I'm pretty sure we don't. We, we can just overflow it into a flare stack and then we were totally fine uh, overflow and flare stack there we go and overflow ethane wait ah okay um oh because of the yeah okay no so i guess we don't want the the top up valves here, right? Let's see. Or we want it from. I don't know why we wouldn't want it. Like, let's just go full Monty. Because if we have top up valves, we might block some of these, and that's just kind of silly. Um. So yeah. I guess. Let's see. Do we have a, a way to? Get rid of yeah. We have an overflow valve for ethane right here, so that's actually not an issue. It's just that the balance, like because the balance between the ethane production and the ethane venting was a little bit weird. It just stopped some of it. So now we should be going ham on the methane again. Um, where ham is, I guess, a relative quantity. So let's uh, make you a little bit longer. Let's make uh, you a little bit longer and then extend it like this. Oops, I guess I forgot a little bit of belt, but that's gonna be okay. Yeah, let's do it like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not getting any warnings, so I'm not too uh, worried about consequences of 
uh, random stuff. Um, I am gonna skill you up a little bit just to make uh, sure that we're gonna be fine on that end. Um, this is looking okay. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we should have scaled up electricity already. Yeah. Let's go do that. Um, yeah. Let's grab some landfill, put in some orders, and then that will. Okay, we didn't have that much. Uh, I guess we have some extra up here now. Not that much either. Uh, it's it's okay. Uh, I let's just get rid of this stuff. Get rid of you guys. I guess I'm requesting seed extractor, and I guess I want to put these in the machine. Let's see up there. There we go. Okay, methane gas seems to be up again, so that's good. And then we should be in decent shape. Um, yeah. I just grabbed a bunch of landfill. And we want to drop by the, the chest over here as well. I feel. If, it's, if there's not too much in there, then we should definitely up that limit. Um... Maybe even just make it unlimited, right? It's just costing us... Well, it's costing us... Some resources as well, I think. But... Yeah. Okay. Where's the limit at? 10k. Let's make that 20k. Like, we're making some landfill in random places. And, and the fact that we're just... Like... Ru well, not running out of it, but... And I guess we are kind of running out of it. Um, I mean, I'm totally good just dumping all of the landfill that we have in here. Um, I guess we don't want to expand out this way because uh, we have some uh, some production up here. I should have looked at that before. We are we're already slightly encroaching. Like we can repeat in the length direction as well so that's fine but it's just a little bit neater this way okay this is slightly bigger than a field so that's good uh, if we do it like this get some stuff in here yeah let's let's just check okay let's also clear some stuff out so you're gonna be up here and let's connect that up um, we're gonna, uh, are they gonna win? Yeah, that, it should be fine. Oops. Okay. It's not gonna be fine. Um, I placed it a little bit too close. Let's make sure that I properly account for the range. Okay. Let's try that again. And I guess I have a repair pack, so I actually the one is coming in it's gonna be enough it is okay excellent and that's yeah, we don't need that stuff but we do want this we want over here this guy Ooh, uh, i messed something up here okay well we can place you i guess but we should uh, calibrate the rest from one that's properly placed so we can do this yeah that's fine and then we can do this and that also works out okay excellent and up here that's all good um yeah those are kind of angry so let's make sure we kill them Oh, yeah, we're actually... Oh, no, this is just... I guess uh, there's probably something wonky going on with the uh, connections here. But that's fine. Okay. Let's 
see. Uh, I guess I want to place a radar in here somewhere as well. Do we have those? Radar. Let's just craft one then. There we go. And yeah, okay, we're actually not going to be able, probably, no. Okay, we can't do the last one. Um, yeah, the construction bots are coming in. Uh, I don't think like, these are not something to be worried about. So we're fine from that perspective. Yeah, so yeah, this is all good. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, let's cut this episode here. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks.